Welcome back, guys, to another episode here on Bubbles Craft. Uh, to start off with, we're in our lovely blank <laughs> castle interior that definitely needs something. So, I think I'm gonna start right off and do something with this room here. Okay. So I've done a lot of building between the last- since the last clip, because, uh, I just decided to do something a little different and just let the building just take me. So I finished the entire castle, and, uh, this is actually gonna be my last day on this realm, because we'll be switching over tomorrow, so I'm just gonna walk you guys through all of the interior and the castle garden gardens and there's a bit more stuff i would have liked to do like on the outside especially but yeah i'm just done with the world so would have been nice to be able to finish everything but i always bite off a little more than i could chew with the ideas and i'm happy leaving it as is but, yeah, as you can see from all the spore blossoms, uh, I went very heavy with the natural theme. This is meant to be like a main room. I have the Geo Nether Portal inspired by Good Times with Scar, naturally. Uh, the glow vines, I had a lot of trouble. I really wish you could shear them, like, on Java Edition, but... That feature hasn't made its way over yet to bedrock, so they grow way too far down, but I'm too lazy to trim them. I have some double-layered windows to give that sort of frosty effect, since it is in a snow biome. So I had white glass on the outside and light gray glass on the inside. Because just clear windows are kind of boring. I wanted to add a bit of depth to it, which I tried to do with the glow like in there. I have the chocolate bars <laughs> on the outside. I really like the wallpaper. I've never really done interiors before, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. And yeah, this is meant to be a sort of hub, so this is like an information desk. I have a whole map of the outside, which isn't much, because all there is is just the block roof of the castle, and then the farming area that is never gonna get cleaned up. I have lived hidden torches under the moss carpets right here, and these are like information desks if you need, like, extra help, since this is a castle after all, so subjects are supposed to come in here if they need extra information or whatnot. Uh, this next room over is more personal use. I have a staircase up, but it doesn't lead to anywhere. There's also this, but yeah. <laughs> a half-built duck. Well, not half-built, half-destroyed duck that Nori made. I'll put that clip in there right now. Okay, so Nori texted me that I should record. And, yeah, at the point of recording, <laughs> I'm in the middle of building. It's a duck. <laughs> Out of diorite. Right? Ow. It's a diorite- Ow! It's a diorite duck. Also, I'm out of rockets now. It's so cute! But also, why diorite? <laughs> no, it's really cute, though. Nice prank. I still need to get you back for the last one. But I don't have any ideas. And I'm just- I mean, at this point- this will already be done, so there won't be build spoilers, but 
Yeah, it takes a lot of copper oxidization. Why is there copper all the way up there? I did not put that there. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back in a bit then. And, yeah. Now, I also made this uh, super smelter, though it didn't get too much use. It is somewhat of a custom design. Like, I got the premises off just watching Minecraft player- other Minecraft people make these, so I don't know who to credit for the original design. But the premise is simple. Minecart hopper just- or minecart chest, because the minecart hoppers were giving me a lot of trouble. They just go over with rails and furnaces and all that. For all these rooms, I've done the natural roof because the idea for this place is that like a plant wizard or something came in and took over the castle. I wanted- I also wanted each of these rooms to have a bit of a different wallpaper. So I experimented with the double wide walls and yeah, in this more sandy room. The birch leaves, I feel, is a lot nicer because it's a bit more of a mellow color. I have a mushroom rug. With the new lighting update, it meant that it was kind of dark over here, and I had a bit of trouble with the mushrooms spreading all over the place. But, yeah, I cleaned those up before I started recording. And I also have a dark oak floor, too. Because I made sure that all these rooms would fit with the dark oak, because I wanted to keep something consistent. But yeah, this is really just me experimenting with interior design, with a few bits and bobs, like these bushes are things that I sort of picked up on while watching Hermitcraft, because they're really good at interior design, so I try to learn what I can from them. And overall, it really improves my building. This is the main room. I sort of had a plan for this to be like a big like dining room or dining hall or something, but I decided for it to just be more personal use. I have this glass-covered pool that you could walk on with a few axolotls in here. There's one of each color in here. They're not named or anything. Uh, I went out and got the new mangrove wood because the update came out, man, that like a month ago. <laughs> it's crazy, but yeah, I used the mangrove wood as a highlight. This is where the mob farm window used to be, but I couldn't find a way to integrate it in. So I just put honey blocks with the mangrove trapdoor because that's a really cool design opportunity right there because you could see a little bit of it. And honey is this nice amber color. I have an enchanting set up here that I'm never gonna use. <laughs> but it looks really cool. The loom trick is really nice because, yeah, it looks like an empty bookshelf and just some extra magic elements. Again with the nature roof and again with the out of hand <laughs> glow vines. I didn't know what to do to fill up this wall, so I just put axolotl pixel art. Behind this door is the unfinished farm room. That's never gonna get finished, we don't talk about that. Yeah, just a few mushrooms and stuff that also spread more out of hand. And now out here is the garden. I actually managed to finish this whole thing in like two days, <laughs> which is pretty impressive because normally it takes me so long to do stuff. Like the walls in this room took forever because they're a really interesting gradient too from bricks all the way to prismarine. <laughs> and Nori had built a prismarine farm so I just hit her up. <laughs> and the copper took forever to oxidize. But yeah, this wall up here is a little- oops feels a little empty, but 
with all the glow vines and the nature and there's the sorting well the storage on this side so it's good enough for me but yeah with the garden out here I have like a simple little crop area. I didn't put any weed in there because I don't like the colors of it in this sort of garden because I wanted to, there to be the uniform like green top and weed is just all yellow. I made a few more bushes here, some tulips. For walls I just decided to wall the entire thing in with like hedges and this is like the more snowy section of the garden where you just sort of let the spruce or <laughs> the native environment take over so I put a lot of these white flowers and berry bushes because it fits the best. I really like how in this in the mountains with moss you could do a really cool effect because the grass is a nice contrast instead of just being the same color so yeah it looks really cool in a few places the snow is like patchy because of the ow moss carpets and all that i have some dripstone here and some more assorted gardens i have the nether plants uh since the last clip i went to the deep dark and got all the deep dark stuff got the swift sneak and all that stuff, but it's a little too late for me to like use the skulk sensors and all that. So I'll have to leave that up for next season. This is more of like an ex extra <laughs> exotic plant collection, like out of this world, because skulk sensors and skulk in general definitely give off that otherworldly vibe. And I just decided to put the chorus plants in here too. This is a tomato garden inspired by DocM77. I think it's really neat, the idea of tomatoes in Minecraft. And yeah, I decided to steal that. <laughs> well, not steal, but take inspiration. So yeah, that's my base now. I'm gonna head over to Nori's base and do a quick flyover. I'm gonna sleep first, though. <laughs> and in the meantime, do one last fly-through of the nether tunnels, so might as well take you guys along with me, too. But yeah, this nether portal design is really gorgeous. It is a little confusing to get out of, though. And gold nugget. Oh, <laughs> there's so many random mobs that just wander into the nether. Random crafting tables. <laughs> random portals that never got finished. Now, I haven't seen Nori's area in a bit, so hopefully there's something new for me to see. And it's also fun to for you guys to also see what she's been up to. There's the wonky tower. Oh man, this has been textured up real nice with the prismarine. Mm. Now, yeah, it doesn't look like she's finished, but... It's kind of sad that we'll have to leave it up for next season. So sorry if you guys could hear the Discord pings. Normally no one texts me or messages me, but I guess today... Yeah, because we're starting the new realm, so everyone's hyped. Yeah, this is the Dragon Egg Shrine. I don't know if I've shown you guys this, but yeah. Yeah, there's like mangrove up here, but it didn't turn out that nice because of the <laughs> savanna leaves. The glowberry shop that has helped me a few times with my <laughs> build. Yeah, this castle is a really nice shape. Though, it would have been cool if Nori had the chance to finish texturing, but we can't finish every project and she started so late in the... <laughs> season. 
<laughs> in the world height scaffolding. But yeah, that's Nori's base. So I guess it's time to head back home and wrap everything up. Okay, guys, so I've stashed up the last of all my wealth into block form and I'm showing them off. I ended up with like 20 ish diamond blocks and another like 20 ish ancient debris, and I didn't like smelt them up or anything. But now it's time for me to put everything away and fly into the void. Gotta put my trusty pickaxe at the forefront, of course. Because that's my main weapon. Well, not weapon, but I'm a builder, so the pickaxe is how I want it to be done. Let me change the poses, because this is funny. Now, without the sword, this looks less like a salute and more like a pickaxe to the face. <laughs> yeah, that looks nice. Nice heroic way to end it. So now, off I go towards the end. Now, the tunnel there is quite janky, but... <laughs> I just like to end a world by jumping into the void. The best sort of closure. So I realize that I do not have any tools <laughs> or armor. Man, I am naked now. <laughs> Also, this tunnel is longer than I remember. But yeah, I have a few ideas for next season, but I'll keep them to myself because they may very well change depending on what I see. So, realize that there's a few things on me that I don't need right now. <laughs> and everything else could just get deleted. <laughs> uh, the end portal is so pretty. Uh, I wish you could have these as just like a decoration, because the stars just look gorgeous. And so deep. Need to stop staring into it. <laughs> uh -huh. And I got this enchanted golden apple off the... Uh, deep dark, yeah. I have a totem on me. I'll eat this and see how long I could last in the void. <laughs> Well, goodbye guys, it's been fun. Oh, I'm on the ground. <laughs> Man, that's impressive. I guess I'll just... <laughs> Wait, here. Man, region 5. Jeez. Goodbye. <laughs>